Hey everybody, it's Jason here from the Mac and Tech community, bringing you another podcast. Tonight I'm going to talk about my first day with Windows 7. Yesterday I went and I burnt it to a DVD, popped it in on my other hard drive and installed it, and right now I am running it. And I have to say for a beta, its uh, current build is 7000, so it's not actually like released released it's a beta but you can go and get it by going to the Microsoft website and you can get like a dev key and whatnot and check it out till I believe till August when did it actually expires um, I think so that's what I was told anyways I have to say that well you if you don't know me I'm the person that really 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 likes Vista I've never had any trouble with Vista and I absolutely love Vista and uh, because it just works, and all those people that said that it was like crap or whatnot, I don't know. I never really had any trouble. You know, a few things here and there, but that was easy fix. But with Windows 7, I gave it a try, and today's my first day, and um, I've had pretty much a good day, but uh, I found a couple of glitches that should be fixed. Well, of course, it's a beta, but one thing that I ran into with um, Windows 7 um, was I was checking out, they have a new magnifier feature in it. Uh, and when you go to invert colors, it um, it brought back the old magnifier, and I lost the Windows arrow with the glass, and then I had to figure it out and get some people in the chat room to help me out, and it was a service that has to restart, and then I tried it again, and then I couldn't get back in the, the, the glass effect, and Windows, the, the, um, the basic, Windows Air basic, I was going to say Windows Vista, <laughs> kept coming back so I had to keep restarting the service or whatnot so I think that's a bug there with that that I ran into probably the most frustrating thing because there was this new magnify, magnifier glass application that I wanted to show you guys so I could actually zoom up and, and let you guys have a look at um, my system here you know if you haven't really got a full close-up look but unfortunately that kind of failed in the end because it was I think it's a bug anyways I, I submitted the feedback to them and told them that this is what I was doing what the problem I was having with it. Other than that, besides that little glitch and um, mess up there, um, it seems to be pretty great. It's got some uh, good features and um, if I hover over my my stuff disappears and it's got some pretty good an uh, animations going in there. and if you haven't noticed every 30 seconds I have a different picture that um, it changes to. That's, that's part of uh, Windows Windows 7 and it's really cool. They have like these themes you can also download online, which is free of charge. And also, I have to say, with the usage between Windows Vista and Windows 7, there is definitely, definitely a big, you know, noticeable. Like, noticeable? Does that make sense? <laughs> Sorry. What am I supposed to say here? I'm goofing out. Don't mind me. Anyways, busy day. You'll notice that there's a big difference with usage. I found that it actually uses less resources than Vista. In fact, if I was on our live page, even running a live page in Firefox with our streams and stuff, it even uses less, you know, CPU usage than it would in Vista. It's idling is at like almost like one percent all the time with all four cores instead of like five to six percent and it actually my CPU temperature seems to be running cooler for some reason I don't know if that's a fact with Windows 7 with its processing or not but it's actually running cooler than it normally does in, in Vista and I have to say it's faster with boot up it didn't take long to install it pretty much worked out of the box uh, I could use my Vista drivers which I had to for my ATI cards for my graphics cards and they worked great um, once you figured out there were some issues with the video graphics and stuff and I put my Vista drivers on and it worked great I got you know all three of my screens plus my TV which is a fourth monitor hooked up all working everything's working seamlessly it's um, it's really smooth too I, I definitely noticed a difference between Vista I have to say that it is actually better than Vista in a way and um, you know for the beta itself I have to say that the Mac, like Apple, does have some competition going on. 
that um, they're probably going to have to beat because this is a beta and after all this feedback and stuff that gets submitted to Microsoft they'll probably add more features when the actual retail version is released which is probably going to be really cool and um, it's an awesome version it uses less resources even with running arrow with the glass feature like arrow glass not just arrow basic it actually runs better less usage it's like flawless and it detected pretty much all my hardware and stuff. All my applications are working like they normally did in Vista. And uh, to be honest, um, I can now run and install Windows 7 64-bit on all my other systems. Like my other one, my stream machine, I had to use Windows Vista 32-bit because something with the audio driver and how I use a monitor feature to loop back with the audio, it actually used uh, a Windows XP a driver to allow that monitor. Um, the way it's all hooked up to my soundboard and stuff, I, I need that feature so when I had my headset on that the audio would, would feed through one of my sound cards to my soundboard. Now with Windows 7 that feature is already automatically built into it and I tested it and it's instant. It's instantaneously. So it's definitely now I can actually, when Windows 7 Retail is actually released, I'm going to upgrade my stream computer to that it actually works and um, you know the the feature built right in doesn't matter what kind of sound card you have it's got that monitor feature built in to listen to your audio back through your your headset and stuff which is what I really needed and um, they it's it's got it so it's gonna be great it, it's got good features it's it's great the taskbar is slightly different more transparency more effects it's great for the tablet PC because it's basically designed for like touch like if I have a window if you check this window here and, and, and see how I have this right well where did my other windows go okay anyways I can go like this just bring it to the top and it will maximize it I can drag it down and it minimizes it I can drag it to the left here and it brings up this thing click and it will actually put it in half one half of the screen is whatever and then if I will had another um, window I can slam it to the right here and it will line it up there so you basically have your two windows with and it, and you just drag it away and it goes back to you know the original window you had it is so awesome and like it's great I, I absolutely like it love it in fact I think this is gonna be a killer operating system and um, I'm glad I got the beta. I was going to stick with Vista till they released the, the retail version of Windows 7. Till, um, you know, I was bothered enough and I said, hey, okay, I'll give it a try on my other hard drive. Put it on, installed it, and it pretty much worked out of the box, even for a beta. There is some bugs for the beta, but, you know, it's a beta. They have the send feedback button in all the windows that you can click and type away and send your feedback to Microsoft. And I encourage you guys, if you haven't already done so, give it a try and also it actually works with older hardware it will run on older machines that Windows Vista can't run on how ironic is that I think that's cool I think this is definitely um, gonna be a winner and something to check out so yeah go to Microsoft check out the beta it's build 7000 that's out right now for everybody to test it's free they have a 32-bit and the 64-bit. The 64-bit is the only one that I downloaded, so I don't know. I This is what I mean. I'm in, I'm in 64-bit right now because 32-bit will only recognize 3 gigs when I've got 8 gigs, so I need um, the 8 gigs of RAM. I need the 64-bit to recognize it. And for the 64-bit, which seems, you know, which everything is going to now, you know, it's working great. So if you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit PC, if you have maybe 2 gigs of RAM or more, give 64-bit a try because it's actually, when I had, I, I ran 64-bit Vista instead of 32-bit and I actually had less trouble with the 64-bit version than I did with the 32-bit. And um, it ran great and using Windows 7, 64-bit is running great too. So give it a try. Now remember there is going to be some bugs but I'm going to give this a try till August or whatever, till whenever it expires, and then actually go and buy the retail version. That you get um, for the beta, it's Windows 7 Ultimate. Comes with all the um, bells and whistles. Even Media Center is different. There are some things they'll note, like WordPad. 
and um, paint is upgraded. You got the, they got the ribbon and some new effects, and even the calculator has some pretty neat stuff. Where you can calculate your gas mileage and and other stuff like as templates and stuff right in the Windows calculator. So you know it's 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 really cool stuff. So I encourage you to get it, give it a try, and then you know I'd love to hear your feedback on it too because you know I've been happy with almost every version of Windows so far. They're pretty great. Anyways, if you want to check us out, go to macintech.net or live.macintech.net where we're streaming 24/7. We have our chat room that is there. We're on the Macintech IRC network, which is our network. We even have a shoutcast going. 24-7. If you have questions, email us at questions at macintech.net. Hopefully you'll give Windows 7 a try because it is awesome. The wow really starts now. I'll chat at you later.